when I started, I think I was like four because I have two older brothers and my parents and they took us to golf and I was a little one and I just went with whatever my brothers did. Most memorable thing is my mother telling me uh, when I got older that I was pretty annoying, that I loved playing and uh, I shot like, I don't know, hundreds of shots, but I would go really happy side by side of the fairway, <laughs> just keep hitting and my mom was like again, yeah, and I was there. <laughs> I actually played hockey, like field hockey, for until I was 13 and golf wasn't my first sport. Uh, I, was, I didn't even have a handicap or anything. But then uh, at age 13, I um, played a tournament back home and this, uh, there's coaches from the Argentinian Golf Association and I found out later that they were trying to like, build uh, like the base of the environment. So to get more children to play and invite them to practice with them. So when I got the invitation there, I actually was like, why me? Because I'm not that good. 13, 14, that was my year that I had to decide which one I wanted to do. But I wasn't that good. I was like, I don't know, I was shooting like 18 over, 17 over, yeah, no. When I get something in my mind, I want to do it and I like work too much for it. Um, and at age 16, I won my first championship out of nowhere because like there were a lot of girls that already were good at 12 or 13 so they were the ones who would win and it was my coach that only trusted me and he was like you're gonna win and I'm like you're sure because I'm not that good but I ended up winning and I think when you win it gives you that um, like energy to keep on going. I think I enjoyed most um, more seeing the faces of my parents that were there my coach, my, my family, my brothers or my friends that were so happy for me. And I thought about the possibility of going to the US and get a degree as well as playing golf. And I thought it was a great, a great idea. <laughs> so that's why I did it. I actually went with 17, I think. Yeah, so pretty young, but it's like a new challenge. I think I like new challenges. Family farm. We've had a, we have a big farm, so they work there, and it was something about the two brothers. I mean, of the whole family, but it was my older brother uh, idea, and he works there as well, like my brother. Um, but every time we call, he sends us pictures of like the cows or how the pigs are doing or how many were born. And the farm is like. It's like a golf course because everything is green, everything grows, like, I don't know, trees. It's so beautiful that I enjoy it a lot. Like, there's always work and farm. I don't know why, but every, every time you have something to do, like either go and paint something or fix something or, oh, the cows just passed, so we have to bring them back. And so you go get the horse ready, you go there, fix it or I don't know, there's always something to do, so I think that's the, the part I like the most. If you would see me now in my farm, you wouldn't recognize me. <laughs> uh, I went to Old Dominion University, it's in Virginia, and I majored in international business with a minor in economics. thought about it as an opportunity, as a challenge, to see how I go, how, how I can do there, and also explore the world. And in my team, there were, I think, like six players from Europe. We were all international. We were all so far away that we cheered up each other and helped if we had any problem or we missed home or anything. I think it was more that part of uh, growing and doing, taking your own decisions, which I'm pretty bad at it, but uh, I think it, it taught me to do it because I had to. I played Q school and I didn't make it. And then I thought about like, what am I gonna do now? I didn't even have status of anywhere. I, I wasn't professional, I was still amateur. If I wanna give myself a chance to play professionally, I have to get better. Um, so that's what we did. And it ended up uh, having really good results 
So in March I came here without a card, without anything, writing emails, please give me an invitation, making like, a, like introducing myself and uh, trying to get invites for tournaments. I think that the opportunity that the Santander like Spain gives to players, I appreciate what they do. I think more than people here, because I see from outside that we don't have that opportunity and that they are having it and I, they are giving it to players that maybe are not good, but at least they're giving themselves a chance. And I think it's super important because I see people in my age, like girls, that didn't even have the chance to play professionally. And I talk to them nowadays and they're like, yeah, I, I might have uh, wanted to do it, but I didn't have the money to do it. And I feel so bad about that because I, I'm lucky I did have the chance, but there's other countries that at least with a little bit or some help from their association, they did it. And I did, I, get, I got some of them. And then, for example, the Swedish tour, I had to go play a Swedish tour event to get to the Skafto. Then I had to go play Santander to get to, I don't know, some letters from Spain. Um, but I managed my way and start, I played pretty good. So I played the whole season. And then everything went kind of fast in some sense. Uh, and I stayed here and just went straight to last stage of Q school, finished second and then my card. <laughs> yeah, it went fast. And I did let myself down a little bit at the beginning um, about making cuts, about all this tour life, about uh, like right now I don't, it's not that I don't care about cuts, but I really want to win. So I'm not thinking that much about the cuts. Uh, but when you don't have experience on tour, the first thing you, you like think or you're there, you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna make the cut so I get a little bit of money. So at the beginning that uh, kind of challenged me, um, but then we had Australia and then Sadaf, yeah, and all the COVID thing happened. <laughs> I think the COVID helped me a lot to settle and be like, okay, we can do this. Uh, we're gonna get better and we're gonna give us like the best chance out there. Excellent shot by Sima Maka. I think all that time away from competing give me the appreciation about uh, tournaments, about playing, about being able to compete, about traveling. Yeah, I was really excited about it and uh, I think I did good. My mentality was better. Um, I took it from a different pers perspective. Uh, so results started coming and low rounds and I started playing good. I really want to win and I don't know if I'm close. Maybe it's like these things happen and maybe I'll win in five years, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but I like to put myself there and, and I, th I do believe that sometimes it's just luck from the champion and it might happen to me sometime or not, I don't know. I hope I do. <laughs> I just think it's really cool. And also everything about being the first player from Argentina to do it and, and it's cool. Uh, and I do think it's um, like I'm trying to settle uh, an example and trying to help get help from people um, to get players from Argentina to play because they are good ones.